Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up SF Doctrine Guard plugin. Um, I've already went ahead and made a uh, real quick basic Symphony install with uh, the Doctrine Guard already um, in my plugins. So, what I'm going to do now is show you guys how to set that up. Um, so, if you open up the README, it'll actually outline a lot of this stuff for you. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go into your project configuration and you need to enable it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And now that that's done need to open up uh, in your application and your apps uh, my user and just replace basic with guard and I already went ahead and copied the uh, fixtures over um, now you want to open up your settings YAML and if you go back to the readme it'll tell you which uh, which modules you need to enable so we're gonna go ahead and enable a few Okay. Now some of you might be wondering where I got those from. Um, if you look in the plugin, in the modules folder, you'll see auth, forgot password, group, permission, register, and user. Um, so I'm just enabling every single one of those. Uh, let's see what we need to do next. Uh, these two are really important. Um, they actually tell Symphony that whenever somebody tries to log in or uh, they try to access a secure page, it'll actually use the SF Guard auth module. Come back to the README. There's where it says to change the SF Basic Security User to SF Guard User. And the rest we really don't care about in this tutorial. Uh, I might show you some in the future though. Um, so let's go ahead and see if this stuff works. And I want the style sheets and stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and publish those. Well, everything's working good. So the first one we'll go to is guard user. Okay, and there's the user that has been loaded uh, by default. Okay, there's uh, the permissions, there's the group, and this is how we register a new user. Hmm. 
Let me fix that real quick. There we go. Now you'll notice if we go back to manage our users, you'll see me right there. Um, let's go ahead. There we go. And, uh, You've got the link to register right there, and let me check. Of course, I spelled that wrong. And it'll give you forgot password and register links right there. And that's all you need to do to uh, get SF Doctrine Guard user installed in.